Hey guys, Wendy here with Rover K9 Training. Welcome back to the channel. Today's lesson, we're gonna be working on Zoe's door manners. So what I usually do is I get a cup of her food and I put it in a training pouch. I'm gonna reward her um, with her food and she's gonna be working for her food. So I just need to get those things up. So the training pouch that I like to use is the Kurgo one. I like it, it's very durable. I just like it. So I'm going to get some more food. So this measures the cup. So I'm going to put that in there. So the thing about Zoe is that she's very, um, she's a very persistent dog. She likes to pretty much get things her own way. Um, so we're gonna have to teach her a lot of patience. Um, but yeah, let's get going. So what I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna be, I have her e-collar. She has her e-collar on the remote. Um, so uh, first I'm gonna see how it works, how she is with the door. I'm not gonna give her any commands or anything. I just wanna see. Teach your patience. Okay. So I always start at zero, but her number, her highest number is a five, so she understands the five on the min mini educator. So we come. Sit. Good. with the e-collar. She does know her sit command, so. Sit, sit, sit. Good. We're gonna do that again. Sit, sit, sit. Good. I'm only giving her like four pieces. If she does a really good job, I pay her more. Good. Sit. Good. Good choice. Sit. Good. Sit. Good. Sit. Good. I'm gonna be tempting her with her food. Sit, sit, sit. Sit, sit, sit. Good. Sit. 
Sit, 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 sit. As you guys saw, um, she pretty much improved pretty fast. Uh, I wouldn't say I would say it's good, but you know it still needs some practice. So we're still gonna be practicing it every day. Um, I do feed her her food when we do training. So right now we did focus on uh, door manners and her sit, but I'm also we're also gonna go outside to work on her recall again, her place command, and then later on we're gonna do a structure walk. So one thing that Zoe is not good at or one thing that she does hate is the place command. We do use a place command to boost up um, dog's confidence. Um, her confidence is not that good, uh, but we are working on it. Yesterday we did work on it for quite some time and she was starting to get the hang of it. So we ended up in, we ended in a good session, but today I'm hoping she kind of captured what the place command means today. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I'm going to set this down and then we're going to be training from there. So, sit. The purpose of me using the e collar, sit, sit. Come here. Sit, sit. Good. So, the purpose of me using the e collar is because she is going to be off leash. Um, so, this is a great communication tool between me and her. Um, eventually, uh, this is day two of training, so she's advanced pretty, pretty quickly. Um, my goal by day five is to have her doing all the commands um, with distractions and then by day seven I want her to do all the commands um, off leash with distractions so as of sit sit so for these two days we're, for, we're focusing a lot on um, sit sit we're focusing a lot on um, impulse training and basic obedience so I just want her to understand the basic obedience and um, working a lot with her impulse training because she does she does like to rush into things pretty quickly and do things on her own oh. okay. so in your training you always want to make sure that for every command your dog gets through the three D's which is duration distraction and distance the first one should be duration then it should be distance and then once duration and distance are met then it's distraction so you have to make sure you can uh, sit good you have to make sure that um, for the distraction just go start off with the with your distance so 
you know, you're going your distance, you're doing your circle, and then from there, once you advance to your distraction, do some jumpy jacks, jumping jacks, try to run around, and try to make her break it, so she knows if she ever sees a kid running while she's in command, don't go out and chase it, chase them. If she sees another dog and you're in command, don't break command until you are released, and that would be the break. Good. Good patience, Emma. Good. So I'm making Zoe work for her food. So she's getting mentally stimulated and physically stimulated and she's also being fed. Come on, Mama. Find it. Good. So that's just gonna be today's episode. Um, she's doing pretty good. She's improving for day two. She's doing pretty awesome. The next, the next uh, episode will be a structure walk and how to implement a structure walk, what to do during a structure walk, and all that stuff. <laughs>